Hello, Lilas. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, guys. Guys, I am here with baby Abby. But before I get into that, of course, I have to remind you guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you do so right now by clicking the red subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And also make sure you join the chat box. I know I am running late on another live stream, but we will get to that really soon. And also maybe tonight, actually, maybe I can take a break tonight and we can do a live stream tonight. Um, also guys, um, if you're not following my vlog, follow me on midserenitysmithbabies.com and also my um, Instagram. So anyway, let's talk about Abby. <laughs> so Abby is, I know I didn't say it in the other video, but Abby is a newborn size baby. She's 19 inches long, approximately. And she is very newborn. Um, she fits newborn clothes pretty well. And she has, she fits um, 20 millimeter eyes. And um, she has a mouth and she has um, gums, tongue, and um, yeah, just top gums, a little bit of bottom gum. She has a little bit of tongue and where she's like, kind of like, I don't know, she's making a little cutesy face with her tongue. Like she's, it's not just a regular tongue. It's like an expression. And then she has, she has lots of gum <laughs> at the top. Um, my Abby, actually, she does have a little, few little pimples right here and then on her chin a little bit. And she does have milk bumps a little bit. She um, has a little vein and not a whole lot. Um, I did want her to be more of a peaches and cream type baby. Um, I, she, I just had this vision of her having this very um, baby look. And I was really surprised, to be honest. So you guys know I, I am 100% honest um, with you guys. Um, when I started painting her, well, when I, I was painting them both together at the same time. And then I stopped to focus in on Aspen. Did I say this is Abby by Claire Teller? It is. She is the prototype um, and she will be getting hair soon, but I'm enjoying her right now. And I probably, well, let's, let's, let me finish one thing to the next. Okay. And when I started, when I was painting her, started painting her and I got to a point, I was like, oh my God, like, I was thinking like, at first, before I really got any color on her, I was like, oh gosh, I hope I can do this baby justice, right? Um, and when she got, as soon as she got a little bit of color, I knew what skin tone she needed to be. I was like, oh my gosh, she is starting to look so real. Like it was so, it was so exciting because there are kits that you can take out the box and you can look at and you have a vision like that. And that they just already look like who they, they want to be. And then there are the kits that you kind of be like, hmm. You look like you got a lot of potential here, but I don't know if I'm the one that's going to be able to bring it home. And that was me with Abby. But when I started painting her, I mean, just with a little bit of color on her, I was like, oh my gosh, this, this, this baby looks real. So I'm, I hope that you guys um, agree and you know, you guys love her, but I know I love her. Um, I show, of course I send the pictures to Claire and Claire, um, seems to really like her I know a lot of you guys are waiting for the pre-order information but I'm quite certain that Claire is gonna wait for the other prototype artists or I don't know if it's one more or two more but I'm pretty sure she's waiting for that too so you guys can see different versions not just you know my version which is um AA and um a light AA or biracial, you can call her both. She can be both. Um, but yeah, so I, I'm pretty certain that that's, we'll get the pre-order soon. Just giving the, um, other artists time as I'm pretty sure, you know, most artists don't show work in progress pictures of their, their, uh, prototypes. 
and I wanted to do that too, but y'all know I gotta be different. <laughs> y'all know me, I, I am an oversharer, and I was like, I'm not gonna make them wait until they get their hair. So I decided to share them beforehand, and so um, you guys are getting to see them now, and you guys will get to see the final product soon. Um, I thought that I would automatically love, um, that I would automatically love, uh, Aspen more. Ooh, I was wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> I don't know what it is about her, but she really stole my heart. Like, and when I say stole, she snuck up on me, like, like a thief in the night and just took me by surprise. Cause I was like, I like her cutesy smile. And as you guys know, I've been more enjoying the smiling babies or the, the, the happy babies um because my grandbaby is a smaller like she like she's like cody like she's laughing all the time and that's why i gotta have me a cody in my collection too um but so but she just really got me she really did she really got me and um so i'm really happy i love the texture on her um skin is similar to um aspen but not the same so um but it does have the same like skin light look so i'm gonna take off her hat now i did tell you guys if i didn't tell you guys she is definitely a baby that would have to wear hats or she needs her hair rooted um in my opinion um she is definitely a now um aspen head otherwise is really really um cute bald totally but i think she needs like a hat or something but she's still cute now don't get me wrong you just you just have to see it from, see from the front like she she's so cute i don't know she i don't know she might make a cute ball baby but she's getting here see i'm getting here i'm getting here and i i'm i might have made a mistake by waiting her like see um Cody, is your diaper slide now? <laughs> so, Cody, Co not Cody. Uh. So, Aspen, I didn't weight his limbs and everything. Um, I just barely weighted his body, but I weighted her. She's weighted completely, and it's driving me nuts. Like, I love her so much. Like, <laughs> I came in and picked her up and heal her a couple times throughout the night it was just weird but um yeah she she's weighted really nice so they do come with their own cloth body um and they do come with the tummy plate and i'll take hers off for you guys so it's like a half tummy plate so it's you know it's gender neutral so she can be a boy or a girl but the thing I love about this, which like um, one of my um, dolly friends said, is that you can keep these on all the time. You know how we used to always complain about, oh, they're just for pictures. We have to take them off because it, it makes them less cuddly. Well, the half ones really don't. They really, um, they really do, do well even on that. I don't know what you got going on with this little diaper, little squishy mushy but he was showing out so i don't want to talk too soon but i do have more to go with these prototypes because we're gonna make this fun this is my um you know this is a big to do for me so it's gonna be a big to do for you guys as well um so i do have something more to share along with the prototypes but I will do that once we get the dates for the pre-order. So if you guys just stay tuned and continue to follow Aspen and Abby. Make sure you guys are sharing their videos. Make sure you guys are, you know, liking all their posts and stuff. Well, if you like them. If you don't like them, I'm not going to tell you to do something that you don't like. Unless you just want to support me. And that's that. That's fine. But... Um, definitely guys, these are definitely kits to have. They are, they have their own little face and looks. And you guys know, I'm always looking for something new. 
and different. Um, so I'm going to get her on this little Burt Bees outfit that I've had all the way back since I had Zoe by Claire Teller, my first Claire Teller doll. And I just thought I would put her on it. Um because I wanted to have her outfit with the hat. <laughs> Girl, you is doing the most, this diaper. I don't know why this diaper is like, for these diapers to be so expensive, they are like so horribly. I, they're, I would never want to use them on a real baby, but I like the, the plain look to them. So they're for decor, but I would never put them on a real baby. I did give my grandbaby a few of them at one point because I just wanted her to have, you know, something different. So when she get little photos and a little diapy and stuff, but mm -mm. on a regular basis, mm -mm. your baby going to be wet. So, all right, so we getting these on. Yeah, getting this on her. So yeah, like I said, she's she's a good newborn size. I think that you know sometimes we we'll be like, oh, there are such and such inches, and we just think that's newborn. Well, when you think about it, most of the kits are between 19 and 21 inches or 22 inches. But some look older than others and stuff like that. But this is, she is like, she falls, she moves, she she looks newborn. So she is definitely a newborn, a newborn baby. So I would definitely, if you're looking for like a newborn look, look at this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do you want to stay? <laughs> Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> Do you want to stay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think she she want to stay with me. Or maybe we got to give a... Maybe I need to breastfeed her and see if she latch on. If she latch on, that means she has to stay. If she don't, then she has to go. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not going to breastfeed the doll. But... <laughs> Some y'all like, oh my God, she said you got breastfeeding her. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, she is, look at her. She is like the perfect size. Oh my God, I'm loving this. I'm going to take her belly plate off though. I know. It can stay on, but this diaper is not nice. <laughs> Don't y'all wish y'all could just slide y'all tummy from out y'all clothes like that? <laughs> and go flat. <laughs> I know I do. <laughs> well, I'll be like, took a whole bunch out. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Yeah, so she's like, she's so, like, I love the way. And she's weighted, weighted. Like, when she come back from her hair being rooted. Mwah. <laughs> mwah, mwah, mwah. I'm not kissing her. See, I just can't blow my kisses to her. Tell I'm too little to be putting all those kisses on me. But um, she all the things she'll need to do is I'll just need to put her weight back in because I weighted her head and everything, and she'll need to get a magnet because she does not have a magnet, and she's gonna get eyelashes too. So you guys are seeing, like I said, true work in progress pictures um, or videos or everything because they really don't have, you know, they need their eyelashes and. All that's going to make a difference, too, and when they get their hair. Oh, my gosh, I can't wait to see Aspen with his hair. So he'll be the first to get his hair. And see, I'll be right behind my brother. So, yeah. So I I, I hope, like I said, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I wanted to give two different versions of the kits. Um, of course, I, I was thinking about painting her um, similar color to Aspen, but then I was like, no, let's give a blend because I don't know what the other prototype artists are painting theirs. I'm assuming it's going to be, um, I would assume it'll be Caucasian. So I was like, 
it will be nice to have um, AA um, biracial and carca carca Caucasian. Um, sorry, she just got a paint paintbrush bristle right there. <laughs> and I was getting Taya's just getting it out. Okay, so anyway, that is her. Let's see what she looks like on her or her tummy tum. I'm not even silicone and I'm trying and you're trying to put me in the baby diaper booty pills. <laughs> yeah. She likes to put her hand in her mouth. But yeah, that's that's her. She has nice ears too, guys. But yeah, that that's I think she'll be a cute boy as well, also. So um I will throw you guys a hint out there. I will be painting more of these kits but stay tuned for more information don't forget to like this video don't forget to share this video give this video just a thumbs up like and that's the same thing okay that was a bit redundant but you get what i'm saying and um also guys if you want to follow and be the first to know when the kits are available even before myself or the other prototype artists um, say anything make sure you follow Claire Teller website and um, subscribe for um, notifications which is www.clairetellerdolls.com and I forgot to put the link in the description bar the last time but I will definitely put the link in the description bar to this video okay all right see you guys later say bye bye Chip bye 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 <laughs> she can't talk yet but <laughs> But if she could. <laughs> okay, let me go. She got me all giggly.